Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf Shop and I'm going to show you how to use the paddle edge tape. It's basically um, a narrow strip of high performance urethane film. Looks like this. And also has a little alcohol swab. I'm going to show you how to properly apply it. It's available at our shop for $12. Comes with instructions. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do it in person so sometimes it's a little bit easier to see than to read about it. Remove um, any dirt or oils wax and whatnot from the edge of the blade. Just rub it real clean. Make sure there's no lint on the paddle and also make sure that your finger uh, fingertips are nice and clean so you don't leave any fingerprints on the tape. Now this tape you apply it dry uh, so it sticks better. Make sure your fingertips are clean. You just peel the edge back a little bit. And start on the edge of the paddle. Okay, so we had a little bit of technical difficulties, so now I'm going to voice over with the instructions here. We start at the top part of the blade and center the tape over the middle of the edge of the blade, basically. So about the same amount of tape sticks over each side. And just stick it down only on the edge first, and then once you, you can easily still reposition it. So if you don't get it in the right place, you just peel it back a little bit and reposition it so that it's centered nicely. Once you get it in the right place, then you can push down the two sides, um, you know, apply firm pressure to your fingertips and just get it on there smoothly. Uh, so without trapping air bubbles and try to get it on smoothly on both sides. If you apply it properly, you should barely be able to see it. You have to look really close to be even be able to see this um, high performance paddle edge tape. When you get to the curve at the end, you can really stretch it out and that helps to get it on there better. Uh, if you stretch it around those turns, it'll, it'll, um, it'll uh, fit around there really well and get, leave a nice clean, clean edge. So uh, a little bit of stretching around those, those curves will make it work really well. And a lot of people, or I've, I've used to use electric tape for to do this, which works well too. It's very stretchy tape, but electric tape, the problem with that is it's very thin tape and it wears through very quickly. After hitting your rails once or twice in the same spot, you'll have no more uh, tape left on the, on the edge, so you have no more protection. It looks like you still have tape on there, but if you look at the edge of the, the paddle, there's the, the tape is just completely worn through. So this tape will last a lot longer. It's much thicker and more durable, so it should be able to get at least six months of uh, heavy use out of it before you have to replace it. And it's fairly, it comes off fairly easy without leaving a lot of residue as well. So, but maybe plan on replacing the tape if you use it a lot, every six months or so. If you don't use it a lot, it should last you a couple of years. So make sure it's on there really good. Get all the air bubbles out and get a nice clean finish. And then you should have a little bit left over at the end that you can cut off with scissors. And the little end piece there is, uh, hold on to that, is good to use for like you can put it on the, the tail of your board, protects the paint of your board. Thanks a lot for watching. Blue Planet Surf. Aloha.